complicated, crazy system where there's a fake printing press that doesn't even use ink anymore. They just tap on some keyboard, and then they buy garbage. Uh, they 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 buy this garbage from the banks when they want to spread around their green crap, and uh, all the smart people are trying to figure out what this big uh, concoction is made out of and where it's going when it really is just totally crazy that it has any value whatsoever. I think uh, the counterfeiters and the liars have taken over the finance system. And, uh, I, you know, I'm here to stop it <laughs> or, the, or whatever. You know, I'm trying to do whatever I can. I mean, um, I'm interested in, uh, you said, a tri-party uh, uh, repo for, uh, for crypto. I mean, uh, so who's going to be the... The interns. Who do you gonna, yeah, that's who what we're going to be the interns. We just stand in between. We do a bilateral trading agreement. So you know, let's say you want to borrow ten Bitcoin Bitcoin from Tory, um, rather than doing it unsecured, where Tory says, "Okay, well, I'm just going to give you the ten Bitcoin, and you promise to give it back." What we do is an exchange of collateral. So Tory would hand you the ten Bitcoin. You would hand him the ninety thousand dollars. And then we would also hold, so that would we wouldn't touch. That just goes through to the two of you. Um, and what we we do that on what you know people normally call an atomic swap or a DVP system. And then we hold escrow, um, you know, in the event that one party defaults. So we would hold perhaps twenty five percent. And then that way, you know, Tory could do what he needed and finance his inventory of Bitcoin using the repo and you would be able to use the Bitcoin. Like for instance, we have a company that um, helps insurance companies pay ransoms that, that come via Bitcoin. We've got others that um, merely want to trade and, and move money around. And then of course, some that want to short. So that's, that's basically how the process works. And then each day we mark it to market so that it stays equal. And are you going to make that as a decentralized product or are you going to have your hands all over it? <laughs> um, For no. lack of a better phrase, I'm just saying the technology exists to do everything without human uh, intervention or any intermediaries. You know, we're here to disintermediate the intermediaries. And uh, that's why we're here. That's why I'm here anyway. Yeah. I mean, uh, so I'm going to try to figure out why a bunch of old dudes are trying to figure out how much they're going to print without telling anyone why they're printing it. They're not even printing anymore, at least before the damn printing press broke down. You know, now they're just tapping on the keyboard and uh, they're buying this garbage securities so they can spread the crap, the green crap around. You know, it's a little ridiculous that w I feel stupid wasting my time talking about it because it's at the whim of so many other people. It's at the whim of so many other people that it's very it's a little uh disheartening that people the people's life savings and blood and sweat and tears are uh, tied up in these green pieces of paper that just this this secret uh uh entity that you know the guys that survive are, are member banks you know what i'm saying like uh bear stearns and uh and lehman they weren't member so they didn't survive they couldn't be the uh, the the inter the interim like you're going to be in Bitcoin, uh, I think that was uh, that was J.P. Morgan were interns, right? J.P. Morgan and Lemon M Mellon, but uh, I don't know. I think the whole thing's crazy. I, I I I think I woke up in some kind of fucking nightmare, and everyone's talking this gibberish because there's been some kind of spraying going on, and everyone's just retarded. And I woke up in a world where everyone's crazy, and I I, I can't understand. Like I, I, at one point I thought I thought I was the only one. Sorry about all that. I, I don't know. Is, is it the red pill or the blue pill you're supposed to take? I, I forgot which one. I forgot which one. You're on blue pill, just like your shirt. You're a blue pill guy. Don't worry. You're a blue pill guy. But I have one question. So the nearest thing. I mean, a lot of people don't even know what a repo is. A repo is like a like a pawn shop, right? It works like a pawn. Yeah, shop. That seems about right. Yeah. yeah. Where someone says, "Hey, here's my watch." If I don't come back, give me the, it's worth $200, give me 120 That's the haircut, right? And then when they come back, uh, come back by Friday, I'm going to sell the fucker. So that's what that is. But what this stuffing in there is all rigged, right? Yeah. It's no. everything that they're trading this green paper with that's we, not even paper anymore is rigged. It's all rigged. 
It's so be like going into a, a pawn shop with a fake Rolex and getting yeah. the real value loan out winking of it. Winking at each other. Hey, winking at each other and putting on camera so the world can like uh, plan their fucking life. Ridiculous. Well, I don't think anybody disagrees with you. That, uh, we're, uh, a bunch uh, of we're a bunch of losers wrapped up in some kind of bullshit. You know? Well, the, definitely founding the, fathers, the founding fathers would be ashamed of us for what we're putting up with right now. I'm telling you. Certainly, Thomas. Yeah. I don't think anybody disagrees, but then the question is, you know, what's the alternative? I mean, are, are, what's, what, what's the alternative? We're going to buy Irish product. We're going to buy Irish product. I mean, you're talking about, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, the whole digital asset space, 250 plus billion dollars in market capitalization, right? Um, and that number what, doesn't mean shit to me, you know? So many people told me that shit back in 2011, 2012. They told me, oh, that, there's no market cap. There's no nothing. Well, fuck, man. That doesn't mean anything. If you're a trained monkey on a fucking organ grinder, then do what you're doing. Keep on grinding the fucking organ, doing your little dance for the organ grinder. But I'm not a trained monkey. Okay, yeah, I, I get that. I and mean, we, we hear you. So, I'm a but gorilla. what's the alternative? I'm a 600 what's pound it? gorilla. Yeah, yeah. So, but what's the alternative? If, you, if it's a rig system, a, a whatever, or whatever, whatever, whatever you call it, well, what's, what's the alternative? Stay away from them. Stay, Stay away, away from them. Away. So let me ask you: Do you have a credit? Do you, do you have a credit card in your wallet right now? I got thrown out of eleven banks. What do you want from me? Do you have cash in your wallet? No, I have credit cards. I have credit cards. Right. I have okay. cash. Okay. So you're Not part much. of the system. You're part of the system. Whatever. Right. So what do you do? No, don't, don't 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 sit there and call us all grinder monkeys, whatever you said. Oh, I didn't call you. You felt like a grinder monkey. That's a different story. Right I didn't call you a grinder monkey. I'm talking, nah, talking I'm, to people in the audience. Well, I, 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 don't call our audience grinder monkeys either. I don't, who knows who are, who's in our audience? But point is, uh, but what's the alternative? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. The alternative is pretty simple. If gold wasn't so heavy. We wouldn't have had these pieces of paper, and then we wouldn't have uh, then fucking delinked, depegged them, delinked them from the gold. They would, they would, we, they wouldn't existed. Gold was too heavy, and that's all it is. And you can't throw it to the other side of the planet, and that's what the markets are now. So you need some kind of electric gold, electronic gold that has fucking wings, and that uh, you know is, has scarcity involved with it, and that's divisible to the hundred millionth death, you know, to the hundred millionth pieces. Trying to spice up the show a little. Come on. I think we could add some extra views. I, 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 I think what, you know. So, you know, Peter, you're very quiet today. Uh, I, 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 you know, I think well, Peter's got to get in here. I'm completely on Nick's side. Here's the thing. Like, it seems like we do nothing. But he, 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 here's a problem, right? So, what we, Nick is doing a lot, right? So, I mean, you guys, by providing liquidity to the, to the, to the BTC markets, uh, to, to the crypto markets, you, you guys also doing a lot. 